What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a little 4x4 trick when you're on your last two edges. This is a really obnoxious case and a lot of people really hate it. So what it is is when you have your last two edges in the top layer. So if you're doing Yao or really any 4x4 method, sometimes it happens where all your middle layer edges get solved and then you have to put these in here and then you have to do your little flip out and that's really obnoxious. So there's two cases you can have. You can have it where these two edges are the ones matching and these two or you can have it where these two are matching and these two are matching. So we'll start with this one. And the algs are really easy. And just so you know, if I say R in this, I'm actually referring to a wide R move. And what's super easy about these algs is it's two OLLs that you probably already know. So for this one right here, it's just this one right here. And this one's actually C OLL. It's not just the default OLL. So what it is is R U2 R D, R prime U2 R D prime R2. You're gonna do that same thing here, but with wide R moves. So R U2, R D, R prime U2, R, D prime, R2. And now that solved these two edges and you didn't have to put them down here. And now this last one is just the inverse of that alg. So it's just this one right here. So R2, D, R prime, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. So these two are matching and these two are matching and then you're gonna do R2, D, R prime U2, R D prime, R prime U2, R prime. And that solves these. So really handy, you don't have to put them down here and flip. And it's a case that I think a lot of people don't know about. At least I don't see a lot of newer people use it. I'm sure the faster people do. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.